Left. Okay, guys. Um, we're going to have a look at entrances into the leg locks. Um, and I'm going to keep it pretty simple as far as the leg locks that we're doing, which is we're just looking at standard, um, standard ankle lock calf crushes and that we're not doing any heel hooks, we're not doing anything rotational. So this is just a, a pretty standard entrance into it. Um, there's a, 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 couple of, um, a couple of options that I, I like to use as a general. So we're going to rehash the first one, which is off the butterfly guard and the elevation and putting the leg to where I want it to be. And then the second one, we're going to have a look at it from the closed guard. And then uh, we'll, we'll play a little bit of a combination between both of those. So it's a little bit of a rehash of what we did yesterday. We're just going to add a little bit of detail into it. Okay, so Emma's into my butterfly guard. So I want to make this, um, just so everyone understands what we're trying to do with the butterfly guard and, and, and how we're going to attack. Um, I'd normally come up with an over and an under, but sometimes my partner's keeping me at bay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn and I'm simply gonna have my hand inside the collar and it's a cross grip. This enables me to, to push and to post. I make sure once again that my hand isn't this way because this is a weak thing, my, my, my frame has a, a joint in it. So I make sure that my hand's away. All I'm doing is I'm gonna drive forward as hard as I can, push my partner, and then as my partner comes back and starts to, I'm gonna come underneath, I'm gonna to start to elevate. And I'll still keep hold of the collar. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it backwards, that gets the space for me to be able to move. And again, so what we did yesterday um, was we fell to the side. So I'll just do that quickly and I'll show you the reason why we go to the collar grip instead of <clears throat> the front of the side. So I'm not gonna uh, hold in this post, but normally I'd have an overhook and this is an underhook. So my arm is under and my leg. So all I'm gonna be doing is gonna be going that motion, so nice and slow is, so instead of falling backwards and trying to kick I'm falling to my side and I'm throwing a hook, but this space here stays the same. I'm not coming in and closing the gap and then trying to kick. I try to kick everything at like a good 90 degrees like, like inside the box. So the first one that we did yesterday was I have an overhook which I'm not going to on every shoulder and I have an underhook. So I'm going to fall to my side and as I'm falling to my side, I kick my leg from here. So I've got everything balanced up. And it's quite a strong motion as you can see like I've got Emma's whole body weight up onto my leg. So it's quite a strong mood of motion. And again. Sorry, baby, you okay? So again, on the butterfly, I have an over and an under. I fall, I lift. What I'm doing is I'm going to grab the leg. So we're here. I'm going to kick my leg under and put it between, but both my knees come in. You okay, balancing me? So we're here. I now go make sure my knees are on the inside, keep my leg straight, bring my foot through from here. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I've got access to the ankle, but my partner's got hold of my gi, and for me to complete this, I've got to roll to the other side. So what I'm going to do instead, okay, is I'm going to put my partner's bottom onto the ground, and I'm going to sit up. So I'm going to combine combo these together. So I'm going to put my partner. Can you sit here, please, buddy? Yeah. Just sit there, please. Okay. Just sit in. Let's go back to your room. Two seconds, guys. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Oh. Say hello. Hello. So from here, yes. You okay, the back? So I'm gonna kick. So kick, 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 kick. Come up. Now I'm now in the position 
to look for the attack on the leg that we did as well. So I'm using the combination of the, the unhooking and the sweeping and coming up. Um, so this will just be the first part. So we'll get a little bit of a drill going so everyone understands what we're going to do at the entrance. Um, I will come back to the first ankle lock that we did yesterday, uh, which was the no gi, which means that she doesn't get my gi. So it's a little bit slicker, but with the gi, it's a little bit harder. Do you want to do this so that it's not so hard on your... You're sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so butterfly, I'll go to the side. And um, I'm going to go option one, which is what we did yesterday. So same deal, underhook, overhook, tip my palm to the side, lift my leg. Grab the ankle, pull the leg through, but she's got hold of my gi. So it, for me to rock and roll her, it's quite hard. So all I'm doing is I'm pushing everything backwards. So I'm going to push everything backwards, and I come up, and I now take the leg. So it puts me in a far better position, um, plus if we're doing points you two, two points. Sorry? So two points, all right, because I've just done the sweep for my closed cap. What it's going is, I like to grab hold of the gi, and I make sure that my thumb's up, so the blade is under the ankle. For, yeah, super tight already. And again. Do you want me to Yeah, sorry. So, I do my sweep nice and slowly, elevate, because we've got the gi, this is one of the most common reactions. And I've got to make sure that when I'm doing this, I'm not going to pull it to mount. So I put my knee through, pull the leg over, and here yeah, my foot's just, I'm not crossing the, the boundary, I'm just keeping her at bay. I now kick, 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 pose, sit up, and this, I grab my gear. Because she's basically holding it for me, so I'm like, cool, and I come over. So if she's holding my gi, I don't come under the gi. So, okay, so. so I'm not coming under the gi, when I grab it, I'm coming over. So I'm not coming under, I'm coming over, which makes it nice. And I might, I might be closer to the knee than the ankle, but we're just in the position. We're not, we're not actually setting up the finish yet. So one more time, guys. So we're starting off in the butterfly guard. I sit up, underhook, overhook, sweep, lift. She gets hold of my gear. So I'm in the position from here. I make sure that my my uh, knee comes through. So I'm going to grab the ankle and I'll put through. So both my knees, her legs. Like I'm doing an armbar because I can't break the grips. I now put pressure, post, come up. And like I mentioned, I'm trying to get over the collar, not under the collar. So I'm not trying to grab low, I'm trying to grab high. So if you just, so my hand is high, not low, because once again, there's so much space her foot can come out and all that. So I'm trying to grab high, so it's on really tight. One, one last time, so just move it back by so you can see. <laughs> so exercise walking around the mat. Okay, so now one we'll choose the, the standard one. Go okay, one, two, rock and roll baby, kick, grab, put it in the valley, here. She's got hold of my gi, so her uh, right hand's got hold of my gi. Put pressure, up, pop, 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 kick, 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 down, post, come up, shuffle backwards, grab the key. So, uh, Neil's along now. <laughs> so I've got hold of the key. Okay. Option number one. Um, the uh, the reason I like this is um, it gives me a couple of really nice entrances into other things than ankle ankle locks. Um, I know we're focusing on the ankle lock stone, that's kind of what we're after. But um, it gives me access into a deep half, uh, it gives me access into a, a back take, and I, I get a lot more options. And what that means for me is if I've got option A, B, and C, my partner doesn't know exactly what I'm going to do. 
So if I've got more ammunition in my gun than they've got defenses, I'm generally in a better place than what they are. I'm just gonna quickly go through this just so you guys understand what I mean by my options. So from here, we do exactly the same thing. So butterfly guard, I'm gonna go the rock and roll baby, so come underneath, rock and roll, elevate, lift, come under, from here. So, <laughs> so I've got the ability to start to rock and roll. You know, I've got heaps of options there. Jump off. So I'm like going into deep half. Um, those of you that uh, saw in um, the New Zealand tour that I competed in, the no gear, I do a knee bar from there. Um, I'll just show you quickly how the setup is. It's exactly the same thing. Um, so I work off. I come through, I elevate, what I do is I come here, and I simply clamp down. So from here, I clamp down to get the knee bar. And most point is what happens when they turn and run, and as they turn and run, I'm simply coming up behind to take the points. So there's that option as well. Um, so what, what I would guess I'm saying is that it gives you, I've got more things to do so she's going to be worried about the sweep and the ankle lock and all that stuff, which gives me more options um, and puts me in a better position. We're now going to go to the, the gear grab, which is a pushover, instead of the leg lift. So I'm going to just go through a little bit of detail. I'm going to put it on the stove, that's okay. Babe. So the butterfly guard, again, and what happens this time is that I'm, I'm having trouble getting deep inside my partner like that. They might be hand fighting for me, so I'm going to get this. What I'm doing is I'm going to push my partner backwards and I'm going to elevate the leg. So it's exactly the same deal. Okay, so hand fighting, I push my partner backwards and I elevate the leg. Come up and come up. So I'm putting my partner on their back again to look for my two points for my sweep. Plus, I've got hold of the ankle and it's in a really good position to finish it again. The hardest part I have to do is, I'm just going to move back so they can't quite see our heads when we do this. I even need my head. <laughs> so it's, I'm working the butterfly guard, I have the cross grip, I push my partner as a post, I elevate. This is how it is this here. I've got to come up onto my elbow and pull. So I'm coming from here, right? Which is a difficult, so I've got to keep my, my chest and everything running that way so she can't drive back into me. Now, as I come up, I have the ability to put my partner down. Just be very careful of the arm bar if I'm switching for the arm bar. And there you guys can't see that. It's okay. So, just do it one more time, guys. So from the, um, the butterfly, cross grip, trying to get it from here, push my partner, elevate, grab, come up. So I'm posting so she can't get my hand. Right? And I'm driving forward to put it down, and I'll control. Um, there's triangles and things from here, so I've got to be really careful about how far, like I don't want to be down here and have her throw the triangle up and things like that. So I always want to kind of control the leg. Um, the other thing that I do about it is, if my partner's like whatever's doing, like, like she's thinking about, I just throw my roadblock in the way. So it's really hard for her now to sit up and all that. So once again, we're on the wrong side, but we're in a really good position. So my leg cross is in front. Uh, this is, a, this is a, what I try to explain is, um, instead of using my knees sometimes, is I lock my knees together, I put my back on the ground. And now instead of me trying to turn, I simply turn my knees, which will turn my partner and put the ankle lock pretty much straight on. So I, I see sometimes a different sensation again. A little bit too jarring. Yeah, it's right underneath my armpit. Yeah. So from here, is, I like to see a lot of times that people are here and they're trying to turn their partner, but I'm creating space for my partner to start to shuffle and to escape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
So the thing about it is I, I go, I don't need to get my back. What's the safest way to stop someone from getting my back is this. Put your back on the ground. Now, take my back. Okay, so no worries, I'm, I'm safe. I know that she's generally going to say, I'll climb up and over. So the instant that I feel her hips raise, go slow please, as she comes up, I turn. And that's pretty much, because she has to put her weight on the ankle to come up. So she's putting the, the foot onto the ground, which now is now locked into position. And I'm not even doing this ankle lock. I'll let it go. So as she comes up, I turn. And that's what's put me into the position. Um, I spent heaps of time playing around with, um, with the, the ankle lock and how to complete the ankle lock and the best way to roll and things. And um, it, it was really counterintuitive about putting your back on the ground to roll because a lot of time your partner can kind of sit up and jump over. But as they're coming up, I'm using that momentum to roll them onto the side to put the leg off. And you think that's like, like if we're here, I have to put my foot down to come up. And it's really hard for you to put the foot in here and come up. So generally you extend the leg to come up, it makes it easy. It's really hard for me, for me to have here and, and get up, it's really hard. So if my leg's caught, they're gonna put the leg, extend the leg to come up, which is actually aiding my ankle lock. So as I come up, you can now roll me into the position. <laughs> Sorry? Okay. So I'm going to scrub Emma onto her back. You ate your dinner? No. Oh, you're not finished? Okay. So from here, Emma's going to grab cross grip on my collar. And she pushes and lifts my leg with her, okay, from here. And I'm gonna hold on so it's hard. So she's not laying down, because that gives me everything that I want. She starts to hip escape away and lift her leg up. That puts my leg into the position. Now you don't have to hold my leg. So now she starts to come up. So she aborts, comes up, hip, good. Now, let go, grab the leg. So we're in the position now, so you don't even have to actually, get, yeah, to break the grip. To stop me from throwing my triangle up, you put your knee, step, cool. Now, I'm gonna come up, and she knows that. So she's gonna help me by throwing her back on the ground, but shoulders dead flat. At the same time, she's gonna grab across the body to grab her hip. She's not coming up high. Grab it. So as she said here, I come up, and as I'm coming up, she simply turns the knees, and finishes. So it's a, it's a really um, a really different way of looking at finishing the ankle lock. Um, let's do that again. I'm going to give you guys a, just, just a, a, a different understanding about it. So hopefully it sinks in about how we're doing it, not, not, not what we're doing, but why we're doing it. So she pushes my um, key across and I post, she kicks up. So this is the hardest part from here is that she, if she pulls me onto her, she can't sit up. So she needs to kick her leg to the sit. No, 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 let's go back. So she needs to kick her leg to the ceiling so my le leg lands. So now she can sit up, kick your leg out, sit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So from here, it's, we're pushing, so Emma's doing everything right, sorry, about before I got my fault. So pushing from here, I lift the leg. And what I'm saying is that if I grab and pull, the, I'm pulling her weight onto me, which means it's counterintuitive for me to get up. But if I go lift and it's here, that. So what I'm doing is I go first. So even if she drives the shin into me, I've got that I'll, I'll block in the way. And I understand that she can possibly go to the triangle. Over. Okay. Comes through. For me. I'm going to be nice. Comes through. Sit. Take my two points. Sit down. So now, this is the part that I was talking to you about. Is 
ankle from here. I lay flat onto my back. By laying flat onto my back, I'm going to the end of the lever. Like where I'm here, I'm still not on the end of the lever. So I lay flat onto my back. I'll let go of the ankle lock. That's gonna be really tight. Okay, buddy. So I know I normally have the ankle lock on, but I'm not going to. So I'm, by default, I'm now on the end of the lever. It's really tight without even grabbing it at some time. So I'm going to watch this leg. As she starts to come up, her weight has to come onto this leg. Like, it, it has to come, like, so she has to, at some point, pull that leg backwards and start to come up. Yeah, so as she's standing to come over my legs, I simply turn. And even without that, I'm putting the ankle lock on, it's really tight. So the hardest part is the, the get up. So I'm just going to talk him through it again. Try and save so you're not now. Okay. So butterfly guard. Excellent. Okay. So can't see your hips. Okay. So from here, two sex guards. So butterfly gut gets hold of the, the cross grip on the collar, sits up. She pushes me backwards on post, elevates the leg. And this is what I'm saying to you is, if you pull me now, my weight goes on top of you. So you keep pushing, but you lift that leg. Yeah, now you're perfect. Got it. So, so. So she's trapped my leg. Got it? Everything's in position. So as she drives forward, because she's under my leg, that means that my hips have to go down. So as she drives forward, my hips have to sit, because she's under my hips, so she's lifting me. She comes all the way up. Okay, now let's go and grabs my ankle. So it's two points. So my back's on the ground and she's up. She knows that I'm gonna come up and drive back into her. So what she does is she puts her legs between, like we're doing an arm bar, so she sits backwards and puts both her legs here. And this is the part that I see is people stay here and they try and do the ankle lock but they roll from here, which enables me to get my grip so we're now into a fight. Where if Emma lays straight back down, shoulders down, it's pretty much coming on now, right? Like, and it's, she's not even trying to hurt me really, but it's on top. So what's going on is as she sits down, I'm gonna go like, yeah, that's on, no, keep going, keep going. So I come up. As I come up here, she simply turns her legs and we're in a perfect position to finish it. So she goes nose down, squeeze. Perfect. Really tight finish on it. Um, the, the second thing about it, do you think I We're being summoned. Sorry guys. It is and the, um, the, the conversation I get was, I've swept them, I've got my two points, they've swept me, they've got their two points. Um, technically, they're in a submission, so they don't get any points until they clear the submission. So theoretically, under the rules of AFA, PGA, once I sweep them and I'm not in a submission position, I get my two points. Once I sit back down doing an ankle lock, they can't get any points until they clear the submission. So by default, I'm gonna get an advantage for doing a submission as well. So I'm gonna get two points for the sweep, I'm gonna get one point for the advantage, and as well as possibly doing the submission. If and when I let go of the ankle and I stay on my back and they're on top, I'll still be ahead by one advantage because I've done the ankle lock, they've had to defend it. So it's one sweep each and an advantage for the submission. So even if I'm just on that trade exchange of, of motion there, I'm still up ahead. I'm, I'm still an advantage ahead of the game. So it, as far as I'm concerned, it's a really good trade-off. It's not, it's not a bad trade-off at all. Um, I'm quite happy to, to play that game. Um, so I'll, I'll just go through this more details. So those of you that, that want to understand the point system, the submission, it, it has to be a legitimate attempt at a submission that I have to try to escape. So the easiest way is if you're standing and your bum hits the ground, 
that's an advantage for even if you don't complete the sweep, that's an advantage because they've had to defend the takedown. Okay, so I'm just going to go Emma again, and I'm just going to talk you through. So Emma, can I head that way, please? So butterfly guard, and I'm going to go really slow, so so you understand. So at the stage it's zero zero. Emma pushes, pop, 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 and come. So what she's doing now is she lassoes my leg, so it's in the perk my legs it through. Every time it's I'm made really good. So she doesn't want now to pull me on. So she pushes. So as she comes up, pop. So right now, even if I bounce back up, she gets an advantage because my bums hit the ground. Got it? So she's going to abort by pulling that leg out and come up. Okay, so one, two, three, two points for Emma because my butt's on the ground, she's on top. She understands I'm to trade for, uh, for a triangle. So as I trade for a triangle, all she's going to do is slide that leg through here. That's all. Yeah, so I try a triangle. It's like, oh man, I, I can't do the triangle because the leg's in the way now. So you've got to get this game in nice and fast. Um, I'm going to go back one step. Jump back up. So from here, if we don't consolidate out the position for three seconds, we don't get the two points. Right? Let's just say that we don't. Right? So she sits back down. Bop, bop, bop. So she's got an advantage for attempting to sweep me. I don't get anything yet because I'm in a submission. Does that make sense? So because we're even, even, I don't get an advantage or any points because I'm technically, I haven't, I'm not up on top of my part yet. So my goal is I've got to get up. So if I get up on top and clear this, right, I'm ahead on points. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to pull my leg backwards and she's just going to put it back on the ground. So if I can't even get up, it's tight. And I know Emma's not squeezing. To complete it, so I'm not getting any points yet, and the submission's coming on, so I'm like going to try and back up. As she turns her knees away, nose goes to the ground, looks away. So even if, even if she doesn't get that, she's still going to get the advantage for the attempted sweep and the advantage for the submission, even if it's no point, so it's two advantages. Um, so, so just the mindset is if you're competing in the AFPJJs, it, it's, it's a good system to understand. Yeah. Um, like, like, it can really mess you up if you don't understand. Yeah, um, Emma's um, final fight in the Worlds last year, and she she set up the ankle lock, <laughs> and I'm like yelling, "You don't, you dare, don't you!" Dare. And she's like, "Look at me!" I'm like, "No way!" We what? just did it in class. Yeah, but I'm like, "No, no, no!" So, so you know, there's times when we're going to play to win um, points, you know, and there's times when it's like, "Yeah, drop back on the ankle." Um, so I'm going to just go back to one little thing now. Um, so we've done the butterfly guard the elevation, the butterfly guard the keyboard. So, so the main difference is the controls that we get as far as the ankle locks goes. Um, we did the knee bar um, last night. I'm not doing the knee bar today, which is from the stain. So I'm going to quickly just cover this system because we're running out of time. So Emma's got the butterfly guard. I'm going to talk her through it. So we haven't done this one. This is a new one. So the butterfly guard, she gets hold of my gi, a cross grip, or it doesn't matter. And as she pushes, I simply come up. So I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm standing to come up from here. So what Emma's going to do, it sounds really weird, she's going to shoot this leg, no, no, no. She's going to shoot this leg deep under me. No, on the inside. Yeah, perfect. And now she's going to raise this leg. So bop. So I have to land in the position again. Exactly right. Perfect. Sit down, back on the ground. Rock and roll. Um, I'll just explain that leg motion. So Emma, can you jump up? I haven't, I haven't actually told Emma or explain what we're doing, so that was pretty much on the go, which she did really good. So butterfly. And as I push, boom, boom, she stands up. So what I'm doing is from here, is, is, is I trap the leg, so the leg's trapped in. So this means that for me, she can't step around my guard. Everything's locked into position. And I can still, Elevate and split up. If I want to elevate and split, which I'm not going to come back so bad. So I turn, lift the leg, feed, put it back on the ground. So it's exactly the same system that we're doing from the butterfly guard, but we're doing it as they stand as well. Um, I'll cover that a little bit. We're going to not have time tonight to do a lot of detail on that. So I'll come back to that on um, what's tomorrow, Thursday? 
Wow. Yeah, another week. Crazy. So I'll come back to that on Thursday. We'll have a look at a little bit of detail on that one. Um, just before we go, this is um, uh, why you do and don't and sometimes do and don't get the ankle. I'm going to go in really fine detail here, guys. So nice and close up. I'm going to go Emma's um, leg through. Okay. Uh, so I'm just trying to think out the best one. Okay. So for me is... If I have, and I'm not going to, is, is I have the ankle lock, is um, I don't grab high because I'm allowing her to come up and over my body. So I, I grab my hip. What it does by default, if I grab high, the space between my elbow and my hip is large, where if I grab my hip, the space between my elbow and my hip is small. So the, 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 the grip on the leg is tight, or the grip on the ankle is tight. The second thing about it is, I see a lot of people now lift and you just, you've moved the ankle away from the hip. So what I'm trying to do from here, hey okay, buddy. So what I'm trying to do from here is, you think about this way instead is, okay buddy. Okay, cool, excellent. So the thing about this is, to close the space, I try and drag my elbow under my hip. I try and drag my elbow under the hip. This also helps to rotate my, I'm going to take the pressure. So I drag my elbow under my hip. So I close all the space up. This also means that when I roll, is I'm laying on my elbow with my hip, and there's, if she tries to move her leg, keep put the boots in and out. It doesn't move. So now, treat this like an armbar. I'm going to loosen this right off, sorry guys. Is my hips go away, and my head goes away, but my hips go forward. So, that's the question. <laughs> so it's it. So I see a lot of people when they do the ankle, they're rolling or they're trying to crush here. Think about this I want to extend it and I want to break it. But if you extend and roll open, you've lost everything because your elbow's gone. So we have the leg, the legs through here, chucked it in nice and tight. Is I'm rolling here. Once I extend the ankle, so the legs, are, I now drive my hips behind it. So I'm gonna try and go really slow from here, is I've trapped it, can you just sit to the side, thanks. So I've trapped it, my elbow goes back, I sit down. Is that okay, bro? Can you slide so it's gonna be a lot easier on the ankle? Yep, yeah. So now is I extend, I just say when, extend, 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 and I'll normally go, for, now I'll draw my hips forwards. So treat it like an arm bar with my hips forward, but I'm always continually trying to go belly down. And, I, and what the belly down does, it pushes pressure onto the toes and pushes pressure here. By moving away, you're sliding down the leg to the ankle. When you find, you'll find that little soft spot on there. And once you've got the soft spot, the, the fight's over. Last thing as well is you want to have the blade of your arm. So you want to have the blade of your arm. You don't hold it, so you don't have it flat that way, you want to have the blade, the sharp part, digging in to the back, which is why I hold my hip. So if I'm holding my hip, it has to be up. Where if I cut my hands together, it rolls and can come down. So I like to just to grab this, right? And that gives me the pressure to hold. So if she tries to pull her leg out, it's kind of coordinate. Where if I'm here, the leg can go. There's a little bit of a detail. There's a bit more detail on that than what is, but as a basic entrance to it, that's kind of where we're going. Okay, guys. Um, thanks again. I, I'm not going to go and um, go too far down the rabbit hole of the leg locks. It's kind of just an introduction to it. I understand that the butterfly guard, it might not be the best place to do it for beginners. I will have a look at from the closed guard, from the bottom and closed guard from the top. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give the advanced guys a little bit of a different thing. The, the guys that like to play the butterfly guard, uh, the sweeps and all that, there's, the leg lock game from there is really strong as well. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for your time. Be safe. One, two, three. Cool. Thank you.